Hey YouTube, this is Miyagi909 and today I'm going to be showing you how to install RAM for your MacBook Pro. Um, so basically I have the 15.4 inch model. Um, it already came with 4 gigs of RAM. Max is 8 gigs of RAM. And the reason why I want to upgrade this to 8 gigs, well because um, I want to run, I like to run many applications at once and so like I like to have a web browser word processing uh, email digital even gaming at the same time I like to have that all at once not to mention um, editing my videos um, other reasons why you would want to um, increase your RAM is for like I said processing uh, graphics they're, they're, they're like heavy data um, they'll include like editing video, design graphics, and the graphic design application. Playing graphic heavy video games like Crisis, for example. Editing photographs, which adding more RAM may be beneficial to you. So, and also another thing is um, you may want to get more RAM because it might enhance your internet browsing experience. Um, for example, when surfing the web, you may encounter high definition video data or high resolution images and high quality audio data. All of these kinds of data rely on RAM to process quickly. So, even if you have a high speed internet connection, your computer still may take a long time to load certain websites if you don't have enough RAM. And therefore, if you want to speed up the internet browsing experience, RAM may be your answer. Um, I mean, other than those three things, um, some people just want more RAM just for the hell of it, but really, um, you really don't need it if if you don't run too many applications or you don't run programs that run that process heavy graphics. Um, but you may need it to enhance your internet browsing experience. So, on with the tutorial here. So the RAM that you need needs to be in DDR3 format. And in 1333 megahertz type of RAM, um, you can get this type of RAM from Amazon. Um, the brand is called Corsair. Uh, I believe it runs for 40 bucks. I'll provide the link in the description below so you guys can get that. Okay, so you got your RAM. Now it's the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna unscrew the back panel off your MacBook Pro, and basically there's 10 screws. Three of them are long, they're circled in yellow, and the other seven are circled in red. So after you unscrew all the screws off the back panel, you would want to put it in a separate pile, just so you won't get it mixed up between the long and short screws. And um, as you can see, I, I put it on the plastic panel off my driver's set, which I got from Radio Shack, and I would recommend uh, for you guys to use the the PZ100 uh, driver bit. So after you got your uh, case open, this is what it looks like. And before you um, attempt to remove the memory, install the new memory, you need to discharge any static electricity from your body. So in order to do that, you need to um, touch any metal surface inside a computer. So I chose the CD-ROM drive. Um, don't touch the hard drive because you could seriously mess it up. Um, so after you discharge the electricity, then <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to push down on the memory module and hold it by the half circle notches and gently pull it out. Same thing with the second uh, memory. And then you're going to take your new memory, again hold it by the notches and insert it into the, the memory slot and make sure that it's lined, the gold edges are lined together and pushed down and repeat the same thing with the other uh, RAM and then you're done and make sure that it's uh, nice and even and leveled on top and then for the the RAM that came with your computer you can put it, you could put it back in the original packaging for the RAM that you just bought like I did so after you install your RAM you're going to put, place your back panel back on your MacBook 
and screw back all the screws back on. Um, I like to start off diagonally first and then work my way to the rest of the screws and you want to make sure that everything is nice and even and not making sure that not one screw is tighter than the other. Okay, so right now um, I'm gonna turn on the computer and do and check the memory and make sure it's eight gigs. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so this is where you're gonna go. You're going to click the Apple symbol. And you're going to click about this Mac. And you can see right here. Let's see what it focuses. It will say 8 gigs. Okay. And it says it right here. Eight gigs of one thousand three hundred thirty-three megahertz of DDR3 RAM. Okay, so that's what you should be get. And cool, the memory works. So yeah, um, if you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe for more cool random awesome funny videos. Thanks.